guys, it is me, Mandy, and welcome to Tuesday Tutorial. We are super excited. We have Whitney here, and we actually met at the Pinners Conference, and we were so happy because she won a giveaway, and we're like, get in the chair, come to the salon, so she actually drove, what, how long did you drive? Over an hour. She drove over an hour to come see me today and I'm so freaking honored. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what we're doing to her hair today. Um, I kind of a little bit talked her into a change a little um, because I know like as a professional, some clients don't realize what they're capable of looking like with the new change in their hair. So let me tell you what we're doing. Look down for me. Okay, so she, Whitney's actually a natural level seven, and you can see she's always just been like this blonde, and every single time she gets her hair done, she just does highlights, highlights, highlights everywhere. Well, we are gonna be doing a little bit of a foil conversion today. So if you see, she has a pretty harsh line of demarcation, if we hold up that hair. Um, we are gonna go in here, and we are actually going to be doing a reverse balayage, or you can call it a foil conversion. So we're gonna be adding in about a six and a half level into her base. We're gonna be bringing down some depth into the ends of her hair. And guess what else we're doing? We're gonna be adding in some extensions. So these are bombshell extensions. We have color 613, but we're gonna be custom coloring them um, more ashy for her liking. So right now these are about, I mean, they're a little bit more golden, but we're adding in extensions. And we're probably gonna most likely keep all the length we can, but our biggest goal is length and thickness. So um, this is gonna be such a fun tutorial for you guys all to be at and watch. And we are gonna go back to the color bar and we are going to mix up the color that we'll be using. And we're so excited. So let's get going. All right, you guys, so we are here in the color bar. Um, I'm going to be mixing up a crazy good cocktail. So get your paper and your pen out and write this down because this is a very good formula. So we're gonna be creating about a six and a half level. So in order to do that, guess what you do? You add some fives and sevens together. So let's go ahead and start with the very first color I'm gonna be using. And the main color I want all over her head is 7NW, which is chestnut. I'll be adding one ounce of 7NW. And then we have 7NG, which is neutral gold. And I'm going to be using some gold to fill the hair. So in hair school, you remember, oh, you're supposed to do two steps, fill and then formulate. Well, I have learned throughout my career of doing hair that filling in with your formula works just as good. Um, and I I just kind of get straight to the step of not filling the hair and putting in my formula. We're gonna add a little teensy tiny bit of 7NA just to have a little bit of more of a neutral to counteract the gold, to not have so green, but have a little bit of ash. Um, I just use literally 0.2 ounces there. And then we have 5NW. 5NW is one of my very, very favorite colors and color gels. Um, I'm going to be using an ounce of this as well. And then I will be using a tiny bit of 6NA, which will be 0.2 ounces. And that's all. That's all I'll be doing. So that's pretty simple, pretty easy, really pretty toned. And you guys will see the color. I will be doing a test run before I go all throughout her hair to make sure it doesn't turn any funky colors. So then I will be using um, equal parts of 10 volume Redken color gels. Make sure you use the same developer for gels. So we're at 2.5 ounces. We're gonna go to five ounces. And let's go get started. All right, you guys, so we have mixed up her formula and we are going to section her out here. Um, I just did a test strand here in the back of her head and I've been watching the opposite eyes on the hair and I'm really happy about the tone that we're doing. So it's a really good mixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing up the color here. Winnie usually parts her hair in a de like a designated area. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to try to shift it up a little bit for her. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually be taking this as a zigzag. And I am going to just have everything. I'm going to start smudging her and, and going beyond the actual wand that you see. So 
This is this part is where it kind of gets a little bit intense because you got to keep a clean application. You have to make sure everything um, stays organized. Okay, so I like to start down around the hairline and working with blondes and adding dark into someone's hair, it can get a little like, oh my gosh, make sure your blonde's not getting touched because that's one thing that you can definitely make a mistake with. So what I'm gonna do is I like to do what you call, this is a little technique, I mean anyone kind of probably knows it that does hair now, but we're gonna do what we call like the teardrop. So we always wanna make sure the blonde stays high around the hairline and then it kind of teardrops back into the back of the hair. So I'm going to start here in the front and I'm going to go with the base. So really just dig into the base first and then we'll show you how to really make sure everything's very blended. I do know I want to go down to about her eyebrows and make sure you tell your clients you guys this looks scary. Like it's scary because as a blonde you're going darker and that's a scary thing to do. But then it kind of looks like a messy situation. But really in reality it's, it ends up being like the prettiest. So here in the front, like I said, I want a lot of this to stay blonde around her face. I'll probably paint a little bit with clay lightener. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start working our way back. And I'm going to take my Fermar brush and I'm going to make sure it's all on a diagonal. And I'm going to start here, dropping it back into the back here. Placements, everything. So here's about the placement that I'm going to stick with right now. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this zigzag. And then I'm going to have Alexis give me a foil. Put the foil right here on top of her head for me. Yep. I'm going to have you hold that down. Yep. And you're gonna always wanna make sure you guys, your hands are constantly clean because now that I was touching this, I'm gonna go and touch this hair. And this hair I wanna keep blonde. So we go through here and we're going to keep placing out and adding in this low light tone. One thing that I love about color gels is it, it glides, it's so smooth in the hair. It blends really, really good. And I will be actually changing up the technique because I'm gonna bring in some depth into her hair. So I'm gonna be actually adding in some low lights in her hair. And if you guys can see, I'm staying a little bit higher against her hairline, but I'm going to be moving a little bit further down through the back. And if you guys can see a lot of warmth, you're gonna start seeing the color oxidizing into more of a neutral color. One thing that happens with color gels is it does oxidize in the color bowl, but once it's on the hair, you're really gonna see like the true colors of the, of the color, obviously. So I really make sure I like look, I mean, I don't move to the next section until I feel good about it. Zigzagging everything. other side of the hair you guys I am still working with my zigzag parts and then what I'm doing is I'm gonna have Alexis grab that side of the hair and what she's doing is placing it on the foil and she's really blending it out with the comb um, and she's just gonna blend until her hands fall off because you really want to make it, make sure in this situation that blending is like the key on when you're doing this so blend 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 and that helps um, give it a good transition line and I'm still going here, and I'm making everything on the back still be going further down into the back and staying high around the hairline. this side.
side and we are going to show you a few little blending tricks you can do when it comes down to doing a foil conversion. Um, I like to take bigger sections. I'm still gonna go in here. I'm gonna go in here and still blend out as much as I can here. You can do two different things. You don't have to use your comb. You can go through here and blend with your fingers. But I'm gonna go in here and just add in a quick, fast, little low light just to break up the blonde. I'm just doing a few places. So I'll go through here. I'm gonna keep out that little front section. I'm gonna just do a little baby light here. Adding more product and running it down through the ends. And also to you guys, I want you to know, make sure you're communicating with your client the whole time when you're doing this process because the client's gonna be in the mirror looking like, oh my gosh, this is so scary looking. So just barely, I asked Sydney, what's, why are, what's the most scariest thing right now that you're seeing? And she says, looking at about how dark it looks. Well, obviously the color is going to appear a lot darker than it actually is because it's A, wet, and um, it's actually a little mystery because this hair looks dark, but when we wash it out, it's gonna not look this dark. So just always make sure the communication with your client's always there. I'm still gonna blend out here. And I'm just doing a few low lights. I'm not gonna do anything too heavy. Keeping out the front. And then here in a minute, we're gonna go mix up um, some clay lightener. Because I do wanna pop some of the blondes around her face. All right, this will be the last section I add in a low light. Keeping out the facial framing around the face. And let's add in a small baby low light right here. And you can do this, I mean, if you feel like you want to baby light it with some highlights, you can. Obviously, Whitney's already really blonde, so I wouldn't need to overlap any blonde on top of her blonde hair already. But, based on blending purposes, if you feel, I'm gonna give you guys an example. If you feel like you have, like, say for instance, a spot, okay, you're like, oh no, I got a spot like, right in the middle of the hair. Obviously, you're gonna really wanna make sure your hands are clean. We don't have that issue because our hands have been clean the whole time. So all you're really gonna need to do is take a little dab of bleach and just add some bleach onto that little area that you feel you got a little spot on it. And then we're just gonna keep blending and blending until we can't see any harsh lines whatsoever. So you can see like that transition like from dark to light, that transition's really pretty right there. Okay you guys, so we are finished with application with the low light, she's just processing right now. So I actually just mixed up some magic lighter and I'm just doing um, 20 volume only. I'm just gonna pop out the blonde that she has in her hair already. So just mainly around her face. We're gonna go through here. Yeah. We're done. So we're just going to really make sure she has some good blondes around her face. So you're just going to kind of pick up some pieces you feel that you want to really pop. So around the face, absolutely. And this is kind of just like a pick up method. And little hairs do matter. So when I feel like I'm going to just take my, I'm going to take my leaving comb and blend out. And just some areas where I feel like, let's do a little pop a roof. We're just going to do that. Uh -uh. Oh, good. <laughs> and this is just 20 volumes, so it doesn't need to be on the hair very long. Just enough to open the cuticle so when we tone it, it's gonna really pop out those colors. Okay, you guys, so we are here at the shampoo bowl and we are ready to wash her out. So I just want you guys to see the process of what it looks like. Just a good little frontal blonde piece there that will be so pretty. And we are going to be using um, the No Yellow Fanola shampoo. And this stuff's amazing. So um, if I were you guys, I'd recommend using that.
da, 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 da. Look at her, she's literally a new woman. Do you see this? I can't get over it. I always end up saying I have no words because it's so true. Look how pretty she is. Look down for them. So if you guys remember before, she had a really harsh line of demarcation. So I just want you guys to see this blend of color that we have in here. Oh my gosh, turn your head to the side, the other side. Yes. Do you see how pretty this is? So we added in extensions, you guys saw. We have pops of lawns, look how good that is. And that's a great little trick for you guys to know, is you can add in pops of lawns throughout your hair if you're ever feeling like, I need to be that dream blonde I've always wanted to be. Add extensions in to do that for yourself, you know? Um, and we added two bags, and we're just like, how do you feel? Tell them how you feel. I feel amazing. I love having long hair. She's never had long hair, and I feel like every woman dreams of that long hair that you can have, you know? So, she has it now. That was, I mean, just like that, boom. I mean, she came in with short hair. I mean, you guys can see her length. Like, this is how long her hair is. That's her length. So, like, hair dreams happen, you know? It's true, we can make dreams happen with hair. So, you guys, um, this was just like a fun, quick little video for you guys. Look how beautiful that is. Look at this. And look at her cute ponytail. She has a cute little ponytail now. We've always wanted that for her. And I just want you guys to see, like look at her extensions in here. She's got her tape ins in and they look awesome. Another thing that I also suggested to Whitney is I said, I want you to change up your part. And it's, it's scary. It's, as someone who always keeps their part, so like watch how sexy this is. Look down. So if we just have her like tossing up her hair, like look how hot she looks. Like that, are you, like this is sexy. Okay, so this way, look at this way. So don't you guys agree? I need you guys to tell me, like first of all, her eyes are gorgeous. Okay, what I'm asking of you guys is I want Whitney to know that she looks hot as a tossler. So comment below, let us know, and tell us if she should be a tossler. Because right now we're just kind of parting her hair. It's kind of going right here, naturally. And that's freaking cute. She can pull off anything, I personally think. But if you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you want to see more of them, subscribe. Don't forget. And I will see you guys in my next video.